let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you and you may call me Hey guys, what's going on? This is Vengeful Torture, you can call me VT, and I wanted to bring you just a little information today uh, about some useful features that you guys might actually want to know about uh, with their most recent PlayStation 4 update. Alright guys, so if you go into settings here, and we go over to notifications, we can scroll down and the first thing you'll see that's new is when friends go online. So you can go ahead and select this and we can choose what friends we want specifically to see when they come online, which is fantastic. You can choose as many as you want or as few as you want, select all, deselect all, which is pretty awesome. So if you want to see when your friends hop online, we want to game with them, or if you want some friends you want to ignore to know when they're online so you can avoid them, you can do that too. All right, there's also a few other notifications on here that you may want to keep a lookout for, nothing terribly new, but that's the main thing you're looking for there. The other thing that is new with this update is can be found in your profile. It's this online status right here. So you go onto this and you can choose to appear online or appear offline. You can see currently have it selected as appear offline. And that's pretty cool too. That's something that um, users I think have been requesting for a long time and something that's um, definitely useful. I think again, especially when paired with the friends, no, friends appearing online, you can definitely uh, now avoid some people. Not the most friendly of additions, but hey, it is what it is. Also, in case you didn't know, if you go onto your menu right here, your online status appears right there. So hold on the PS button. You can go ahead and change it a lot easier instead of going back to the main home screen, the XMB if you will. You can change it right on the fly right there, which is fantastic. One other thing, sort of a public service announcement, I didn't even know this existed, but if you go into your settings and you go over to accessibility, they added a few options here. This may or may not be new. I don't think it's new. I just didn't think I know about knew about it. So go to button assignments, enable custom button assignments, Customize button assignments. Yes, it's a little repetitive, but we're going to get there. You can change all the inputs you want for your controller. And, you know, if, as long as you're using, theoretically, a licensed, registered, official DualShock 4, you're set. It should work, which is sweet. I had no idea you could do that. You can then go, add this to the quick menu, hold on the PlayStation button, and it appears right down here. So you can turn it on and off as you please, right? That's sweet. So those are just a few new things to the PlayStation 4 update uh, out today in April. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other features that release with it, but those are probably the most useful ones that I think the mass majority is going to really enjoy. So, uh, you know, let me know if there's any other things you found, any secrets, secrets with the most recent update or anything you found really useful. Again, one of the other more useful things that I'm not showing here is um, the remote play from PC and Mac, which is pretty awesome. It definitely leaves a lot of potential when you're, you know, to fit in more gaming time. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, take it easy.